Good morning, Joel. Hello. Hi, everybody. Uh, we had a new release. And as usual, I have a presentation to tell Joel about everything we have in the release. What, what, which uh, release number is this? Uh, yeah, this 119. is 119. Yes. 119. Yes. Uh, so before we talk about the actual new stuff, uh, tip of the day. And uh, today's tip of the day is do note that there are frame locators. They are pretty new. But if you have iframes on your website and you want to deal with them, uh, please use frame locators. They will make your tests unflaky. And this is basically a way for you to select elements inside the frames. OK, so okay. The, the, the old old way of doing frames was to get like, oh, it's frame number one. And that was just like yes. the first frame on this, the page and frame number two. Yeah. And so this is getting me the frame by a, a CSS or like one of our powerful playwright selectors. Exactly. And this includes all the auto waiting stuff. So it will oh. wait for frame by people. So it will go Ooh. inside of it. So Very this good. is a good stuff. OK, agenda. Uh, 119, we have uh, quite some new features. So let's go straight to them. But this time around, we'll do it differently because I will have just one huge uh, demo. OK. So yeah, I'll start with the demo folder. And I'll open VS Code there. And this is an empty folder. You can see there is nothing. Is uh, the font good enough for you, Joe? You see everything? Uh, I think so, yeah. Uh, awesome. So first thing I do, and the first announcement we want to do for this release, we have a brand new uh, VS Code extension for Playwright. Mm -hmm. So let me go ahead and install it. Uh, I can go to this extensions tab and search for Playwright. And there are many different ones, but uh, we want the one with the blue check mark from Microsoft, right? So I just hit install here, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Good. So now I have still this empty folder. And the first thing the extension lets me do, I can hit Command Shift P and do install Playwright right in this folder. So as I hit Enter, it lets me choose what browsers I want to download by default and uh, whether or not I want to have this GitHub action. Mm -hmm. Let's keep all the defaults and just hit Enter. And it will populate this folder with all the demo tests with the package JSON. And it will install Playwright, Playwright test actually in this folder. And it will download all the browsers that I selected with the blue check marks in here. So let's let it complete. If, if I already have a package JSON, will this uh, still work? Yeah, yeah, it will still work. It will update it. OK, so it doesn't have to be an empty folder. It does have to be an empty folder, yes. OK, so it's done. It does uh, heavy hacking. And now it added me some example tests right away. Mm -hmm. And this stuff is pretty similar to NPM init playwright that I used to use in all my demos before. Mm -hmm. So these are all the tests. And um, right away, I can see there is this green triangle right next to, to tests Ooh. and double triangles next to suites. Ooh. So let's go ahead and hit the gr green triangle here. Was this okay. running my tests? Yeah, it just ran your test. You see, we have now oh, a green check mark word. here. Yeah. Just this one, mm -hmm. that's the one I hit. And I next to each line, I have these fancy timings. Ooh. So I can see how long it took it to go to all, the, like, you see, everything was pretty much instant, right? Yeah. And uh, the before each hook was navigating to a real website, so it was real network, and it took me yeah. three seconds. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, so you can ask, well, Andre, where, like, did it run this? In which browser? Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you. Right here on the left hand side, there are different profiles. And by default, we run things in Chromium. But you are free to actually modify these things, right? You can select different def uh, default profiles. Mm -hmm. And also, these profiles, do you know where they come from? Uh, uh, I'm going to guess my Playwright config. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So in your Playwright config, you have projects. Ooh. And you can say whatever here. For example, I say fancy Chromium, right? I yeah. hit now here, and I have fancy Chromium execution profile Ooh. here. So I could add and like can... Electron here. Yes, definitely. OK. Um, so let's break something and see how it looks when I'm breaking things, right? I, I'm just trying to check something, which is not obviously a check mark. Mm -hmm. So um, as it runs, it just throws an error to me and says, well, uh, not a checkbox. Ooh. Obvious. 
Okay. So yeah, let's say I want equal signs in your error message. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the error will become more pretty over time. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, so let's uh, let's say I want to debug this test now, right? Mm -hmm. Because something didn't work. I can hit, hit a breakpoint here. Yeah. Do right click and debug test. So what it does now, I don't want to see the debugger window. It opens the test in a headed browser, mm -hmm. right here. It pauses execution on my breakpoint. Okay. And now you can see that actually in the page something is highlighted, right? Hold, hold on, is... I'm, I'm getting okay. a lot. There's too many things. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, ask your questions. Uh, I maybe I just need a second to, to look at this screen. Okay, so I hit debug. So before I was hitting run test, and it was just happening in the background. Yes, hitting debug it. test caused the browser window to show up. Exactly. This is the 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 to dos is the web page that we've been testing. Yes. Because I've never seen that before. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, here and, we are navigating it. Yeah. Okay, it's that website that yeah. I assume uh, Maxville. Yeah. 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 And then we're also debugging. We're all, we're also attached in our VS Code, and so we're paused on this line in the middle of our test, where yes. we're waiting for view label to have text. Yeah. Okay. And so this is before we start waiting for that. Yes. 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 So uh, I want to show you that things are actually, uh, you can highlight selectors in the page right now. Mm -hmm. And as you move your cursor in your test, we figure where is your cursor? Like right now it's inside this locator, view label. And we highlight this view label for you on the page. Oh, so it buys some, buy some cheese is view label. Ooh. See? Oh, see? that's very fancy. And I, I like that. I can actually even edit stuff here in place. Wait, what? What is going on? No. I can... Wait, 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 wait. Can you do um, text equals to dos? Of course. Jesus. So that's the. So the just... Okay, this is that's yeah. what the text is. That it's just a weird bounding box. Yes. Yes. Um. Okay. Okay. Pretty cool, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. So let me stop. That's very cool. I like that. That's very cool. Awesome. So we ran a test. We debugged the test. We saw how it fails. So now let's create a new test. Mm -hmm. And for this, we have this new record button. And as I hit it, it will actually open a browser window for me. Mm -hmm. And as I type things inside here, it will actually generate a new test for me right next to, to my original example spec, spec file. So let's record something quickly. I navigated the page somewhere. To, I went to GitHub. I typed something in. Let's say it's good enough. I can cancel my recording. And I can run this test right away with this green triangle. So. It will run, it will navigate to stop things, and it takes like four seconds, uh, including the very long navigation, to do all the same things I just did in the browser. Mm -hmm. So, this is how I just created a new test, and it was super, super simple. Good. Okay, so this was a very weak for first feature, which is a thread extension. There's more stuff? <laughs> there is more stuff, yes. Oh, I just want to go play with this. <laughs> new extension. Okay. Uh, I want to show you more things that we did for this release. So um, I have this example spec, and if you actually expand all the trees here, uh, you will have all the list of all the tests. Mm -hmm. And we have a bunch of them here, right? Mm -hmm. So I can hit this triangle button to start running them, all the tests in the file. Mm -hmm. And uh, by default, Playwright test runs tests in a single file uh, consecutively. Okay. So we can see how it runs them one by one through everything, right? And it takes a while. Like uh, yeah. I don't want to wait all this time, so I'll just stop them. But now I can actually opt in to a fully parallel mode for this file with this option. Let me show okay. you how it works. I can just run it one more time. And I have a pretty powerful machine. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can see it runs many tests simultaneously. Mm -hmm. uh, they all do require navigation, though, <laughs> so it uh, depends on my network conditions. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I have five threads right now, and they all run things uh, uh, in parallel. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it looks a lot faster. Uh, so when would I not want to? That, that seems like I should just always opt in. When would I not want to opt in? Uh, so sometimes you have tests that are interdependent on the weird global state, and you want them to run consecutively. And uh, it turns out people do this. But yeah, for you, for your beautiful tests, I know you are very okay about uh, yes. My, my tests are all isolated from each other, so someone can like yes. try this out. It'll probably work. If it doesn't work, they might have to fix some some bug in their test. But hopefully, exactly. Yeah. Full parallel mode. Okay, um, this is not it. I want uh, more features to show you. Let's uh, have just a simple test here. And as I hit save, it will reparse my source code and it will show me green triangle here. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it showed and, up in the sidebar. Uh, yes, in the sidebar. Yes. yes. And the third feature is a new expect message. Now I can have customer error, me error messages. Like, mm -hmm. so now when I run this test, it actually goes in and it tells me, "Well, oh, must should work. It didn't dead up." Mm -hmm. And this makes it really easy to parse your HTML records now. Mm -hmm. This is feature number three. And right away, feature number four here. It's called soft assertions. I can say expect.soft. Well, first of all, uh, by default, if something fails in your test, then your test execution just stops, right? Yeah, can you put a log before and after? Let's say after. This is before. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So let me run so this. They should test say right before now. math should work, and then because one is not equal to three, it won't ever say after. Yes. Wait, so I can see up? before. Okay. So I wait. Hold. Oh, this is a new thing. So so I, I see the. Oh right, 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 right. Terminal. Right, right, right here. Yeah. Uh, in the left hand side, you have this console thing. This is output of all your all your test runs. Oh okay. There's a lot so of can... there's a lot of features in this. Yeah. 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 So okay, we saw there is just one. Mm -hmm. Now I can do expect.soft. So it will still fail the test, but it will not terminate the execution. Right? Okay. So here I have before and after now. Okay, so, it, so it's a soft failure. So it's like it. Yes. We're going to. So this is just like it may be if you keep running, your test still works. And so you can see if like yeah, everything's all the broken or just that line. Yes, yes. You usually combine the two. You can mm -hmm. do expect and then a bunch of soft asserts. Yeah. Okay. So these were the features. Okay. For... This was almost everything demo because it turns out we have one more thing to talk about, mm -hmm. which is a new has locator option. Okay. Okay. So last release, yeah. like a few weeks ago, we talked about this shopping cart and how we want to actually click on this delete button next to toy helicopter, yeah. not to anything else. And last time we used the has text option. Yep. To actually go inside there, right? Mm -hmm. you, you remember everything. Now, however, I want to show you a different way to do this in Playwright 119, actually using a has option. Ooh, so I don't have to do more for text. Yes. Yeah, so now okay, can I try to explain everything. this one and then you tell me if I got it wrong? Sure, do it. Okay, so so last time it was we started out with the uh, the, the the you know a few releases ago you could say I want the selector that um, you could do a text selector for the text delete and that would get you all of the delete buttons but then you'd have to say I want the second one and that might not be the helicopter next time so we changed it to say first we select the toy heli uh, first we want to select the row that has toy helicopter in it. And then we want to select the delete button inside that row. And so we'd select a row with has text helicopter. And then inside that, we would select text equals delete. Yes. And now with has, I don't necessarily have to look for text. I can look for any select, any locator. Interesting, any locator. And yes. so that's a locator looking for an image that has to be inside the row. Image with some alternative text called yes, helicopter. It, 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 yes. yes, the image with all inside text. the row. Yes, and it has and it's going to be inside the row. I don't think we've done that with locators before. We haven't. You, we haven't 
uh, put a locator, yeah. like repair it to the locator. Yeah, we did not, I think. Okay, but it does. I don't see anything wrong with it. It sounds sounds good. Okay, you you, you can do your your. Sorry for interrupting you. You can explain it to everyone. <laughs> no, you explained it all beautifully. This is exactly what it is. And this was the last feature for this release. Mm -hmm. So quick recap: new extension, soft assertions, custom expect messages. Fully parallel mode, you can mm -hmm. opt in for your files, and the has locator option. Mm -hmm. And yes, has locator option is available across all the languages. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is it. Um, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, uh, we have a huge social presence. Presence. Um, we are active on Slack, on Twitter, on YouTube. So if you want to help us, please give us a star. Okay. Thank you. I, I think you really undersold the the extension. I think that's really cool. We we should do like a a clickbait uh, thumbnail, like you know, uh, the best update ever. <laughs> Maybe go play with it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Joel. Bye. Bye.